construction that could slow you down. Our system is stable even though we are impacted by the incident that happened in Smith County. Which KUB says a natural gas pipeline rupture in Middle Tennessee will not cause major changes for residential customers here in East Tennessee. A spokesperson says they certainly are following it closely. That pipeline is KUB's main source of natural gas. It ruptured in Smith County. It's just east of Nashville. The pipeline feeds county utilities across East Tennessee, and we spoke to several. All said they expected no problems for their customers right now. 10 News reporter Sean Franklin offers ways customers can reduce usage until that pipeline is fixed. Sean. Robin, KUB spokesperson Stephanie Midget says there's no reason to be concerned right now. They can't ignore the pipeline rupture, but backup plans in place mean residential customers shouldn't see a problem. For now, things are good. It could certainly be a lot worse for Knoxville Utilities Board. The utility company gets most of its natural gas from a pipeline that ruptured in Middle Tennessee Saturday. KUB spokeswoman Stephanie Midget says they're prepared. It has happened. We can't ignore that. That's the pipeline that we typically get the most natural gas supply from. So we just have to pay attention. She says they'll monitor the system and storage. They'll make sure the nearly 106,000 natural gas customers won't lose access, especially during the holidays. We have other avenues. We have gas that's already on our system. We have natural gas in storage. And we're still able to purchase gas from other places, and it's coming to the pipelines. The pipeline's owner, Inbridge, says it has sent the ruptured pipe to a specialist in Ohio to figure out what went wrong. KUB sent a notice asking the 28 big firms and organizations that get natural gas from them to cut back. One of those is the University of Tennessee. A UT spokesperson says its gas delivery has been, quote, cut off, but they've switched to fuel oil and the steam plant for energy. The university says it will reduce energy use as much as possible while still keeping key functions. With students home for the holidays, the campus should experience minimal effects. Midget says it's not mandatory, but you can help conserve natural gas in your home. We're just asking if you are able to do so to cut back on your usage. So if you do have natural gas to heat your home, change that thermostat, bump it down a few degrees. Same with your hot water heater. Um, you can change the setting on that or even start washing your laundry in cold water. I just got off the phone in the last hour here with an Enbridge representative. She told me they're expecting pipeline repair work to be done sooner than expected. That's going to be the first week of January even, Robin. That's good to hear then. Sean, thank you. Just into the newsroom, the FBI says.